Welcome to the Social Lens and thank you for watching. In recent years, the departure of major international pharmaceutical companies from African markets has sent shockwaves through the global healthcare landscape. The exodus of industry giants like GlaxoSmithKline, GSK, Sanofi, Bayer, and more recently, Moderna, has raised serious concerns about the future of healthcare accessibility and the stability of Africa's pharmaceutical industry. This trend, marked by challenges ranging from excessive taxation to operational difficulties, has left a significant void in the provision of essential medications and vaccines across the continent. As Africa grapples with the aftermath of these departures, questions arise about the potential rise of illicit medicine trades, the emergence of local producers, and the overall impact on public health and economic stability. The first tremors of this seismic shift were felt in August 2023, when GSK, a stalwart in the African pharmaceutical landscape for over five decades, announced its withdrawal from Nigeria, a move followed by similar decisions from other industry leaders. GSK cited an array of challenges including limited access to foreign currency, bureaucratic hurdles, and multiple taxation as primary factors influencing its decision. Sanofi and Bayer soon followed suit, attributing their exits to comparable challenges, further underscoring the pervasive difficulties faced by pharmaceutical giants operating in African markets. Moderna's recent announcement to halt plans for a vaccine facility in Kenya only adds to the growing concerns surrounding the continent's pharmaceutical future. The departure of these industry titans represents a significant setback for Africa's healthcare infrastructure and its aspirations for self-reliance. With health challenges persisting and the need for accessible medications ever pressing, the withdrawal of major pharmaceutical players exacerbates existing vulnerabilities, leaving patients at risk of medication shortages and substandard alternatives. The void left by these departures not only affects healthcare but also carries substantial economic ramifications. African governments tend to lose substantial tax revenue, while the loss of jobs and disruptions to the local pharmaceutical economy further compound the challenges faced by the continent. Moreover, the gap left by departing companies creates fertile ground for illicit medicine trades and counterfeit drugs, posing additional threats to public health and safety. Despite these challenges, there is a glimmer of hope in the form of opportunities for domestic pharmaceutical companies to fill the void left by their international counterparts. The exodus of Big Pharma presents a chance for African nations to bolster their own pharmaceutical industries, promoting local production and reducing dependency on external sources. However, the path to achieving this vision is fraught with obstacles, including regulatory hurdles, infrastructure deficiencies, and the need for substantial investment. While the departure of Big Pharma may catalyze the growth of domestic industries, it is evident that the overall impact is overwhelmingly negative. The loss of established players in the African pharmaceutical landscape not only hampers efforts to ensure access to essential medicines but also undermines broader objectives of achieving health equity and sustainable development. As governments and stakeholders grapple with the fallout of these departures, urgent action is needed to safeguard the health and well-being of Africa's population and chart a course towards a more resilient and self-sufficient pharmaceutical ecosystem. Only through collaborative action can we mitigate the adverse effects of big farmers' exit and chart a course towards a future where access to safe and effective medicines is a reality for all. If you found this video informative, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time.